Okay, so now we're going to talk about some editing button styles and different features that we can do on TouchTap. So on the desired page that you want to edit a button, um, so say I want to make something a little bit more prominent. Play. Play. Student to see and acknowledge. Um, always make sure you're consulting with the team, again, um, to make sure what you're doing is appropriate for them, especially their SLP. Um, so we're going to go to this page, and we're going to tap, get into edit mode. And I am working on one of our words today that isn't something our student really requests, but this is what we're going to work on is crayons. So I'm going to tap the button, edit this button. Then you're going to scroll down and you will see different features that you can change. So you can change the font, whether this font, if the student needs a different type of font, um, that may look a little bit simpler for them. You can change that. You can make, change the font size. So if they have visual difficulties, you can go ahead and make it larger for them to see. You can also change the color of the text. So if, they, if you want to make the text a little bit more brighter for them to see, uh, you can also change the body color, which changes the whole look of the cell. So this button is white. So we can make it red, for example, uh, or you can change it. Oops, sorry. You can change the border color. So right now, I don't think they have a border on it, um, but we can make it a black border. And you can make change the border width as well. Um, sometimes it will default to like a certain amount. Um, if you want to make it super thick, you can make it a little bit thicker. So once you change those features, you can hit done and save. So now you'll see it's got a black border and a red background. Another thing you can do is change the background behind these cells. So you can't see it on this page, but there is a background behind the pages. So if there is a page with no vocabulary on it, you'll see that it looks um, a little bit purple. So I want to go ahead and change that. So I'm gonna to go to page style override because I want a black background on every page on this device. So if you go to page style, page, skip some steps, I'm sorry. If you click menu when you're in edit mode, then you're gonna click page style override and you want to turn that on. If you don't turn it on, it's not going to be on every page. It'll be on only the page that you change. So this one will make sure that it goes to every page in the device. And you're going to click background color. And you can click the color that you want. So I want a black background and save. So then you'll see if there were some blank buttons. Now there's a black background.